Hello, our viewers. We are glad that you have found time to be with us tonight. Welcome to Kapo's Wheel Show. This is where we ride down our love. When we are alive, for we don't want our love stories to be read when we are six feet under. Either we want our love stories to be read when we are gone. Yes, and we are delighted that you always find time to come and be with us. And we are glorifying God that we are in the last month of the year 2023. Mungu anakuwa mwaminifu. Thus far we have come, we can only say that he has been our Ebenezer. And tonight we are on eight again. And I want to assure you that you're going to enjoy the story we are about to hear tonight. And I am having the Degwas. Bull, yani. Yeah. <laughs> and they have such an amazing story. Walianzana kutoka wakiwa watoto wadogo hivi. And uh stay kwanza kupatiana story yao kwa sababu wako hapa watupatie. But before then I want to give them a chance to say hi to you as they introduce themselves to you. Hello. Hello. Hi. Karibuni sana. Thank you. Hiki kitu tumepanga. Hey. <laughs> yes. Sure. So Karibuni sana. Thank you. It's good to have you here. Mm. Thank, Thank you. you for creating time to come and be with us. Yeah. I know you guys are very busy people. Mm. Yeah, so sure. baada wakati ukuja hapa mm. tunasikia tumeheshimika. Yeah. So unaweza salimia watazamaji. Mm. Uh, pengine kuna watu wanatazama for the first time hajawahi waona kutoka mbingu mm-hmm. ziumbwe mm-hmm. na dunia hajawahi yeah. waona mahali mm-hmm. so kindly you can introduce yourself to them and as we continue hey man thank you my brother dr la it's a privilege also to be here uh, tonight to share our testimony uh, we are degwas as you have said from california Yes, all the way from all Cali. All the way from Cali. <laughs> But we are here tonight uh, to this. We are uh, lovers of this show. Uh, every time we, we see Dr. Weary, Dr. Love, doing this program, it's amazing. And uh, we have to leave everything so that we can come here, so that we can be part of what God is doing through you, Dr. Love. And we really appreciate uh, this opportunity. Uh, my wife can also say something. Yes. Yes. Uh, good evening. My name is Jen Joki Wadego. Uh, I am born again. I am a mother of four, three uh, princess and one beautiful queen. So I really thank God for that. And also we are ministers of the gospel. Welcome. Wow. Thank you so much. How do wageni wangu tonight? And my name is Willy Kinyash. I'm a doctor love and tuko tayari kusonga na history. So Degwas, at first you look very young. You are a mother of uh, four. Are you serious? <laughs> Or are you kidding? Uh, no, I'm a mother. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm a mother of um, four. <laughs> I have three wonderful boys. My <laughs> first born is turned 12. He's a preteen. Ah. He is um he is a candidate next year mm-hmm. CBC grade, grade six. Yes. My second born son is eight. Uh, that born is a daughter, a queen, so beautiful lady on earth. Uh, she turned six. In my last born, I mean last not acting. The, not acting. Not acting. First time you confirm. <laughs> I'm here. Yes. I'm here. Listening. Uh-huh. As Tibo turned three Whoa. last month, so wow. I really thank God. Nimpango, uh-huh. uh, I decided so, and it was my prayer that, um, oh God, give me uh, my family when I'm young. Mm-hmm. And um, my last born, I got my last born who is three at 29 years. Mm-hmm. Yeah, in a span of uh, 10 years in my marriage. Uh, I decided just to have the children because I could see um, uh, some women struggling to raise their children and yet they are working. Mm. Uh, for me, I decided uh, first, I, uh, by the way, I have never... Um, 
hata kama nilikuwa natamania sana kwanza kulea watoto mm-hmm. at that uh, span of 10 years in my marriage but nilikusanyisha zote pamoja mm-hmm. but with this purpose you know sometimes we plan for the family which is not existing but i decided to do my family planning when i have already gotten the children ah, exactly you're, you're new, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so when you got married where we how family planning Yes I decided family family planning after we maliza uh, after we maliza my four children that is now the time uh, to likachi na my husband kufikiria about family planning as in kupanga uzazi wow. yangu nilikuwa na panga familia yangu That's why I could um nilikuwa na pata watoto after every three years After three, so every years, three years, yes, napata mtoto. After three years, napata mtoto. At least nilikuwa na space tu kidogo ili wa fit kwa 10 years in my marriage. Let me ask. Yes. Hapa i i i Spania this three years. Yes. Na to me family plan. planning. Yeah. Kulikuwa kunaendaje? Hapo nilikuwa najipanga tu kidogo. Hiyo <laughs> 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 dile ya, ya, ya kunyonyesha ile dile tu see, see the permanent family planning as in i want to to stop and now nifikishe hapo hiyo ilikuwa ya kufanya ni, ni, ku, ni niweze kupanga watoto wangu wanne i am fourth born in a family of five his fourth born in a family of seven so we decided kuereheria mkuereheria <laughs> yavyo yes tupate wanne cuz hapo nne ndio tulipatikana Mm. Wow. Oh. Totikana. Ni mkosoko sekane pale. So yes. Zema mahali sisi tulikuwa. Ex- Hapo tuko tunasimamia. So kama mngekuwa sixth born, e, tungepata wa sita. Ehe. Ili watu sesemange. Eh. Nyinyi hampataki watoto na tuliwapata. So tunasema muli tupata mara nini angapi? Uh-huh. Ya nne. Uh-huh. So we decided to have four. Wow. Na sisi hatukuwa t- kama ni wasichana. Ani ama ni vijana ationgeza kama moja ili tupate watoto ni watoto wetu watoto ni watoto hata mm-hmm. kama tunawaita majina ya, ya wazazi na brothers and sisters mm-hmm. si wao hapana mm-hmm. kwetu mtoto ni mtoto Amen. yes not Amen. boys or girls mm-hmm. but by god's grace mm-hmm. tukapatiwa vijana watatu na msichana mmoja wow. we really thank god for wow. that amen amen mm. let me bring in pastor here pastor mm. yes. so how watoto wote wone hakuna kama kuja kwa bahati mbaya hakuna uh, bahati mbaya wote wamekuwa mpangi unajua nimekuwa kwa sababu hapa anga sikujua mwenye kaliingia acha niseme kulikana vile tume tumeogea mambo ya nimesikia family planning siku hizo nakuta vijana wanafanya family planning nakuta diwananua sana hizo nini za family mm. planning mm. Si tuli decide to, fa- to plan family kama iko. You plan now uh-huh. as they are there. We are planning for a family that you can see. Yes. Na ime at least imetusaidia. Uh-huh. Na tuseme ya kwamba uh, kuna mwenye tunasema ni ajali. Uh-huh. Do, kumbe, kama hii kama huyu mwisho tulikuwa tumesema at least tunasoga soga kidogo akuwa kutoa viatu kwa kwa mesa. <laughs> <laughs> kwa chini ya chini ya nini chini ya mesa. <laughs> chini ya kitanda. <laughs> lakini sasa hata kwa sababu ile program ile ilikuwa set <laughs> lakini Mungu akaona ni vizuri pia akae kwa hiyo miaka mitatu yes na tunashukuru kwa sababu ya hawa watoto mm. ni baraka kwetu amen yeah unajua mnanipeleka mbio sana hadi sasa ni kama unaona <laughs> kama wimbo ya wakamba mtu wangu kiaza na ikisha hivyo ndio mnanipeleka so nipelekeni pole pole okay. and so let's start with mlipatana wapi nini hey sumwambia ni jirani sasa yule ni ya good neighbors eh mlikuwa majirani eh ni majirani so hawa watu wanasemanga ati nyasi yeye haikuliki ni wao ah ni tamu sana hawa watu naweza tunaweza testify hapa usene ni waongo hapa dali hii unaona ikimea unajua ile manywa imewekwa ni tamu sana sio na huko ni wachana na hiyo unjui vile imekuwa kuna ile kitu divine ambayo naweza sema labda hapa kwa hii show ambayo mambo zingine ni Mungu anapanganga maana kama vile kama vile sasa tulikuja kushikana na Jane na niseme nilipata wabaye tukiambia tuoe tena kama naweza uulizwa nioe tena kuna watu walikuwa nasema ya kwamba kuna wa, wanaume kijiji fulani waliambiwa warudishe wake zao kwa chief 
Tawazee kwa kijiji mzima walikuwa amewapeleka. <laughs> <laughs> kwa sababu wenyewe walikuwa ame wamesikia Biden. Mimi nasema ya kwamba nilipata ambaye nili uh, ni the best ambaye nikiwa tena na Isamoa tena. Na ilikuwa divine kwa sababu before then nilikuwa na kuna wale wanasemaga una, unapata frogs something you kiss you some kiss. frogs. Yeah. Kuna kifroki moja ambao huwezi sema sana ambao ulikuwa ume ambao nilikuwa sana nimekamata kwa muda hapa hapo naona 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 kama inaweza kuwa kwa hivyo lakini nakuta ni frog. <laughs> kwa hivyo baadaye unasikia sauti mugu na ninaanza ongea pia na vijana niwaambia kwamba mugu pia na anaongea katika mali ama katika doa. Nikasikia you are going to marry Jane na nikaambiwa sasa zile condition na bazo group players kwa sababu najua mimi nilikuwa naobea familia yangu nilikuwa na kesha kila friday bidii mm. ya huruma na kila wednesday just to pray for the family mm. sana sana ninajua na family ilikuwa priority na wao walikuwa natuhubia siku tunabia pray for you wa, kwa sababu tulikuwa na, tunaenda marathon mkianza maombi saa 4 mnakutana then saa tisa kwa hivyo mm. lazima ukue na wakati wa maombi mm. na inakumbuka ni place ambayo ilikuwa na a lot of mosquitoes kwa hivyo lazima uombe Mm. Okay, uta ukingangana nazo ukipigana nazo lazima uombe. Kwa hivyo mara nyingi nilikuwa najikuta na ombea I am praying for my family. Kwa hivyo through those players Mungu akanihurumia na akanipa the best. Mm. Na akaniambia kwa majina utaoa majina na nikamwambia jini mwenye tulikuwa na nikikumbuka majini wa wapi unajua kwao unaruka barabara mbili. Wetu mm. ni hii side unaruka barabara moja unaingia shamba ingine unaruka barabara ingine unakuta hasa kwao ni the other side. Mashamba za kwetu ni kubwa kidogo. Kwa hivyo nilikuwa na najua ni nani vizuri na ninajua mahali vile alikuwa amehunyuka na vile sasa mimi ndili kwa anatembea kwao. <laughs> Wakati nimemaliza sasa shule nimekuja Nairobi nilikuwa naenda kwao sasa na kasukali na kamkata vile tu mnatembea nyumbani. Kwa hivyo wakati nasikia utawawa je na Jin okay okay na tukakaa sana miaka mingi kumbe naye alitoa alitoa alitoka village akaenda town goja so it is god who spoke to you god spoke to me directly ni la hata ku eh ala ngea je unisikia sauti unisikia mpaka je wa the new players it is the new players na nikasikia we are going to marry je watu walikuwa tunawaita je wa wajogo by then na nika na mungu naye akafanya mambo divine kwa sababu nilikuwa na mahali nilikuwa ni ya kwamba mimi nikatoka nikaenda sasa kutafuta biashara kufanya kazi nikaenda mpaka Sudan na nilikuwa Sudan ndio nasikia hizo sauti na mimi nikarudi Kenya ile vitu mbona kuja kutembea mtu ambaye nilipata wa kwanza kunisalimia ni Jen wow. na nimweki yani bali sio hata mahali mimi kwa na kaya yani huko fikiria vile ilijia tena mtu ulisikia sauti ulisikia ni Jen na nimeenda Sudan Nimerudi nimefika Kenya mahali ile mtaa nimeenda mwenye nimekutana naye ninajua ya kwanza ni yeye. Yeah. Wow. Na siku hiyo nilikuwa nasiju naenda kuingia reli ma train mogidhi. <laughs> mogidhi. Mm. Na nikamtukao hata na wakati wa kusema kwamba hata usiimebwa na mogidhi. It was my mara ya kwanza kuingia kwa mogidhi. Mm. Na kaenda na mogidhi siku ya kwanza tukiwa na yeye. Mm. Na hata siku ile kitu tunaongea Mm. Nilisikia lakini na igino ile sauti ilikuwa na nika igino kwa muda. Nilipo tena mwingi lakini huku nitaweka mwingi tu hata kuna watu wale. Kwa sababu nasikia sauti lakini najua ni nani. Najua je ni nani? Eh. Kwa hivyo mambo ya Mungu vile ina inaendanga ifuzu nasikia na unafuatilia. Kwa sababu baadaye sasa ndio naenda nikimwambia vile mimi nilikuwa nasikia ni kama siku kosea. Yaani Mungu hawezi ukosea yeah. jeni wewe utakuwa mai na haikuwa pia na mabishano mingi sana mm-hmm. ni tuseme ile mtu anaambiwa kaenda uombe sana sidhani kama tuli uliomba sana mimi hata sikuwa nimeoba hata kuomba mimi nilikuwa naoba fees niko naambia school fees mimi wala nimefika ya kuombea familia nilikuwa tu nimemaliza form 4 na nilikuwa nimetembea kwa dada yangu sister yangu njeri na that that day tulikutana na ye, i was turning 20 nikaambia my sister na kwa sababu sijai bebo na muhithi na ni, ni birthday yangu nitaenda tu Nairobi nayo alafu nirudi ikirudi so dio tukapatana na ye kwa stage something of that sort 
Kwa si unaona hata mimi siku wa naomba bwana mm. na ye hakuwa ana imagine huyu ni jen. Amesha ongeresha ni jen. Ni imagine. Mm. Alikuambia hiyo siku mlipata mbona. Haku niambia. By the way hata haku niambia hata Ah siku moja nime nimetembea tena kwa dada yangu. Sasa nimemaliza form 4. Sasa unaona niko free kiasi. Tukakutana na brother yake, Maish. Dia kaenda akamwambia na nimeona jin na kamenona. <laughs> Amekuwa kabili. <laughs> si vile tu dikaacha ushago. Aya <laughs> alafu sasa dego yeye alikuwa ameniacha ushago, but after class 5 nika nika transit nikaenda kusomea town. Kutoka hapo nikaingia MKU na Kuru Campus. Sasa hapo ndipo tunapatana. Kwa sababu niko MKU, dadangu ako Nairobi. Sasa dio nikamuulizaje? Nikamwambia, "Na by the way, okay, ile siku nilijua hajaoa because he, he was a guy to admire wakati sisi tulikuwa wa Sunday school na teenager hapo." Ah, wait. So, Ulianza kukrashia huyu jamaa kutoka S- Sunday school. Si hata yeye. Eh. Sasa familia yao wako boys wanne. <laughs> na wote wa, walikuwa wameokoka. Mm. Na wako wasichana wawili. So wakati walikuwa natoka mtaa cuz most of the time babake alikuwa anaishi Nairobi na unasikia tuko ushago moja na tunaenda church the same. <laughs> walikuwa wanachukua hii drum, idarama, <laughs> kihebe. Kihebe. <laughs> Sasa wana come kusif God. Ile they are young and they love God. <laughs> na sisi saa ndio tuko pretty na teen hapa, that hapo. Sasa tukienda home tunasema guy Umeona huyo ma, mama veni ni amebarikiwa na vijana. Yaani watu wa Nairobi na wana save God hivyo. Sasa mm-hmm. tukaanza kuambiana aje na wasichana wengine. <laughs> ah lakini mimi nitasimamia harusi. Kwanza ya dego, dego ndio anakuwa na roho ile mzuri kama <laughs> kuliko wale wengine. So you can see village girls mm-hmm. wakisimamia harusi ya mtu wa Nairobi. So wewe ulikuwa na una, kusimamia kubwa ilikuwa kusimamia wewe Nairobi ya dego. Haya siku moja nikamwambiaje akakuja ushago nikamwambia Ulio wa kweli na huku niambia nisimamia harusi yako akaniambia ile siku nitakuwa naoa nitakwambia nikamwambia sasa nikajua aje sijui nilijua aje kwa sababu nilikuwa tu mdogo ukitaka kusimamia harusi ya mtu lazima ujuane na girlfriend yake kwa sababu kuna wengine wanasema hapana huyo msichana asimamia harusi yangu so i wanted to befriend the girlfriend mm-hmm. ili ni simamia harusi yake na haja ileta huyu girlfriend. Sasa nimemaliza form 4 nikajua sasa nimepata opportunity poa ya kukujaga Nairobi ili ni meet girlfriend yake ni mfanye my friend because him he, he had a good heart. Mm. Nilikuwa najua hata nikikosa pesa ya, ya guo atanilipia. Hey. <laughs> Alikuwa natuletea masuiti kule Sunday school na teenager mm-hmm. wa church. By then siju tulikuwa tunaitwa brigade yeah. something of that kind. Now ile siku nilijua hajaoa ni ile siku nilikuja kanisa ya overcoming overcoming yes nikiwa dika road nikiwa mku alikuwa na gari ilikuwa inaitwa mark 2 mark 2 exactly uh-huh. and you know kama mani girlfriend yake na ako hiyo church maybe wakitoka church because hiyo church niliona ina watu wanatoka mapema maybe wataenda out na nilikuwa naona ile age yako ni lazima akue ako tayari kuoa <laughs> Sasa akanifungulia hii mlango ya hapa mbele. I'm like, hey. na girlfriend yake akinipata. <laughs> na ndio nataka akue my friend. <laughs> Yenyewe nikasema acha tu niingie. Hii the first stop ilikuwa supermarket. Akanibaia uh, biscuit, akanibaia um, kakeki hapo, chocolate na yogurt ya mm. Delmia. Napenda sana Delmia. Mm nikasema akisi girlfriend ya ya huyu huwa anafurahia bado hujamuuliza kama ana girlfriend hapana hajanionyesha bado but tulikuwa tunaenda kwa brother yake Maish cuz bibi yake i think alikuwa na mtoto hata tumeenda kuona mtoto wake naenda kama jirani wa ushago and let me ask ndio kuja upare na yeye church nani ilikuwa amekuinvite he invited me and in invite overcoming by then ndio highway ilikuwa inatengenezwa So nikamwambia na kwa sababu sijui Nairobi ukuja ukinipiki kwa dadangu asubuhi dadangu alikuwa anaishi Mweki na wao walikuwa hiyo street sijui zinaitangwa aje Mweki street sijui nine mm-hmm. walikuwa anaishi na na huko hiyo street mm-hmm. na huko nyuma yeah, exactly mm-hmm. na yeye sisi tangu hapa juu karibu 
sijui ACK mm-hmm. that street so mm-hmm. akakuja akinichukua tukaenda church na nilikuwa naenda mapema six mm-hmm. sasa aliniambia ni mimi naenda church mapema baadhi hatukupata mtu church isipokuwa bishop alitupata asubuhi na any time by the way hizo siku zote nilikuwa nakuja kwa dadangu tunaenda church tulikuwa tunafika tukiwa wa fast by six sasa ndio akani treat poor nika nikaomba god akisiwi msichana huwa huwa anafurahia kuwa na kiboyfriend kizuri yani anakuti ana usijai treatiwa sijai kuwa na boyfriend mm-hmm. unajua kulelewa ile umelelewa na ile shida ya chini kuna vile unataka kujishika usijiingiza mm-hmm. na maboyfriend na ni ile age mm-hmm. very hot age mm-hmm. sasa mi nilikuwa tunajishika tu kwa sababu hata nikipata mtoto sina mama wa kupelekea mle naishi kwa wenyewe hata hapa university naishi kwa auntie yangu nakuru na hapa sasa huyu ni a good boyfriend to somebody. Mm. He, kutoka hiyo siku tukafika pahadi sino unasikia kuna barabara ya hayo inatengenezwa. Sasa kufika pale kwa Cairo cause brother yake alikuwa anaishi na hapo tukapata kimawe. Watu walikuwa naacha gari hapo wanatembea hapo mguu cause hakuna pahali pa ku exit. Aka akaniambia wacha ni, ni, ni shuke, nikushikilie. Hey! Now, I could imagine If this was my my friend <laughs> I can help ya walking will you marry me No sasa unaona msichana wa campus na pale I'm like oh my god I get you me gonna be soft Hallelujah <laughs> na kwambia na imagine a girlfriend wake sasa anamchukuaga kama mimi amenipea mkono wake hawezi kanyaga hata mchanga <laughs> Oh my goodness. Uh-huh. Sasa vile tumeenda huko, Mungu ni mwema, unapea kwa ma Yes. Wakati tumefika kwa brother yake. Na ni, ilo, m- ni yule mdogo kumliko. Uh-huh. Sasa unajua wa madhe vile wanaudiza wana, vijana wale wanaona wamepitisha wame 25. Uh-huh. Wanamuuliza deho. Si umeona tumekuja kushika mtoto wa brother yako? Mdogo. Eh. Hey. Sasa hawataki kumuuliza mtoto kwa sababu hata hana bibi. Wakamuuliza mama mwangi utamleta lini? Kosi ni kama anom watu wa, wale wa, wanaoleangwa kwao wanapataka mwangi first born. Mm. So ni kama wote kwao wanaitaka mama mwangi, mama mwangi, mama mwangi. Mm. Utatuletea mama mwangi lini? Do you know what he did? Mm. Alafu akauliza aje, Uta, okay, utaleta mama mwangi lini na harusi itakuwa ya lini? akasema aje ulizeni jeni si unasikia yeye ako na revelation hajaniambia yeah. nikasema aje bwana si usaidie hiyo kitu ikuwe ni ya ukweli ikiweza kuwa ni ya ukweli naweza furai nikiwa campus na mtu anani sponsor kwanza ako na gari sasa ni maringo huko meet my boyfriend ako na gari imepakiwa hapo sasa my imagination <laughs> nikasema na by the way yo pepo ya kufikiria watu na huyu ni mtu anaonekana hata amerashia <laughs> nikasema all right vile alisema eh ulizeni jen akasema akasema eh ni kwa sababu hata wengi huku kumbuka hiyo siku dego alisema lakini hawezi imagine dego marrying a neighbor mm. mwenye alikuwa anabeba fifi dege <laughs> fifi dege ni kuwekelea hapa mnatembea hivyo <laughs> you get it yeah and ni jirani na mama yake by the way she was like my mother akienda kikoba na niletea kanguo nini nini sasa naye alienda speed unasikia niko fast year mku aka akani i think hiyo kitu sasa naye ikaanza ku watu kama wanaona eh kama machua mhm kanaweza kuwa kabibi <laughs> naye i think kwa sababu hata ye vile tunaongea ni kama alikuwa naona ni kama ni, 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 ni kwa mdogo una get ni kama ulikuwa mm-hmm. 20 i was 20 <laughs> sasa hapo i think akapata alafu kitu mzuri nilikuwa mkubwa mm-hmm. nilikuwa raude eh? mm-hmm. so Afupi beautiful kae fupi kanono kae kasichana kazuri sasa hapo dipo akaanza ku text i think kutoka hapo akaenda mobasa akasema hey how are you nikamwambia i'm okay akaniambia niko Mombasa sijui nimeendea gari sijui uh, by then alikuwa anafanya tra, transaction ananunua watu bibi mtu ananunua na muendea mm-hmm. kitu kama hiyo but alikuwa arudi southern sudan mm-hmm. aka lakini akaniambia alikuwa ameambia god ili arudi anataka kuwa ameseto ajue ako na mtu anaoa anarashiria ama something of that sort na alikuwa ameambia god i want to marry 2011 
mtu mwenye sasa alikuwa oe si mtu wa kusema wacha tuombe <laughs> Mm-hmm. Ni mtu anasema yes I do. Mm-hmm. You get it. Mm-hmm. Sasa vile tulipatana dio akaanza kuniambia unaendelea je na mimi namwambia naendelea vizuri na masomo something uh, akaniambia naweza kuja nione shule yako. Akakuja akaona MKU by then tulikuwa milimani estate hatukuwa tumetelemka town. Alafu akarudi dio siku moja akaniambia there is something Mungu amenenenea na ningetaka kukuambia. I'm like kai mwana ndo tai via renda kuhi akolo ni kuhi ya tondole mudo ni mwega anyway siku siku jua but ni nikiulizia ni, ni, ni my sister ananiambia dewa hajaioa but sikuwa naamini mtu mzuri hivi uh-huh. ako na pesa mm. ako na Nissan mm. ako na Mac 2 kwani kwani wasichana wanaangalia ngani <laughs> na kitu ile mkubwa sana ameokoka mm-hmm. na ana serve god mm. you see yeah. so sikuwa na nilikuwa naona kama ni drama ama ni video ama something na, na sigetaka mimi kuolewa kama bibi wa pili mm-hmm. lakini kitu ile hivyo na, najua hajaioa mm. sasa dio aliniambia by the way nilikuwa nimeuliza huyu msichana tukaenda this journey nikaona simu aminifu na Mungu pia akanipea jina yako ni so nime decide kukua will you marry me hey wow nilisema yes i do hapo hapo <laughs> kuna ile kalingo kidogo unaona maliza certificate yeah ukimaliza tufanya wewe yeah akaniambia sasa wewe maliza hii course unafanya alafu after there tufanye nini tu tuoe but him alikuwa na haraka sana kumwambia tutaongea alikuwa ameshaenda kwa bishop <tos> wetu <tos> wananipigia simu wananiambia huyo hey, kijana hata tumempenda ndio unakuwa unasema ni rafiki yako ulipatana aje na watu kama hao wako na pesa <tos> ni neighbor <tos> nikamwambia ni neighbor ali watu walikuwa wana tu pesa Wa, alikuwa na amekuja kununua gari kwa bishop Ah. Bishop kuna gari alikuwa anauza anunua extrail. Ninawaambia mna strago na mtu wa kununua gari na mimi niko na mtu. Anaanza eh? Wewe village girl, eh. uko na customer. Eh. Nikamwambia yes, akaniuliza ni nani huyo? Yule kijana na kuambiaga wa neighbor. Alikuwa by the way alikuwa ameniambia nikimaliza form 4 nisikae ushago. Kwa sababu anajua plan zenye wako nazo. Yeah alikuwa anipeleke kompyuta anisomeshe tu huko awe anatuma fee lakini wakaniambia waachana na vijana we. huyu anataka bibi anataka akulipie lakini ni bibi anata anataka lakini ile siku niliwaambia huyu hata anaweza nunua hii gari yenu akatuambia nipe naba Ati, alisikia tu hiyo hello akapenda huyo mtu na hajamuona bila akamwambia si ukuje na hururu uone gari akaenda walimpea hata bila hata Rock book alimwambia enda naye ukifika Nairobi kama ni mzuri itakufurahisha wewe utalipa. Wow. So wakati alikuja akaona ni kijana na amepaka magari tatu kwa kwa parking akauzia brother yake. Hata sasa iko kwa familia. Hiyo mm. gari alinunua. Mm. So from that akaniambia lakini by the way tumependa huyo kijana na ni kijana wa, wa ushuhuda. Mhm. Ile <laughs> nimeokoka Yesu ni bwana. Mm. So by then wakanipea hard. Wakaniambia he's a good man. Wakaambiana wao wawili Reverend and Bishop tukikanya jeni kuolewa na huyu kijana na unaona ako campus ile siku atatamani mzee tutamtolea wapi <laughs> lakini because she is 20 let her get married wow. na yeye my husband akaambiwa na hao ah, wazee na vijana kai kiolela nilie na siana <laughs> mare this young lady ulelanisha na watu ulelanisha wao pamoja na watoto <laughs> so i continued with, with my education <laughs> i graduated when my with my second born son Wow. Wow. He was faithful to his word. Mm. Alisema mimi si mto university ataendelea hata Nairobi wako na branch. So I continued na nikasoma. Nikamaliza. So hey, he did that. Man, anahitaji kupigua makofi. He is a good man. He is a good man. Yes. So hii ni study unirusha namna gani? Hii ni study. Hii ni study ni Hakuna kitu kizuri ni ukirusha mistari eh. kama huyo mtu anakupenda eh. kama huyo mtu anakuadmire mm. you know you cannot love somebody kama mm. hujamuadmire mm. that is one thing i have learned mm. this guy we admired him cuz ni wa ushago mm. tulimuadmire tabia zake unajua kuna vijana wanashida na wasichana huko shoshoro mm. yeye yeah, hutampata 
yeye ni kanisa na wazee wa kanisa na pasta. Mm. So alikuwa anatolea ushuhuda na kila mtu. Mm. Unajua ile ni vizuri sana ku, kuokoka ukiwa kijana. Mm. Mm. Lakini nilikuwa natamani na nilikuwa naambiwa kitu kizuri. Ukiwa faithful, hakukosekani vijana kumi ambao ni waaminifu. Mm. Pia wasichana kumi ambao ni waaminifu. Ninalikuwa naambiwa tamani hao kumi ambao ni waaminifu. Ndio nikamtamani. Mm. Nikasema aje I wish huyo msichana agejua mwenye mebi ameozwa na yeye vile ako na kitu ambacho ni cha maana rito didainu ya kwamba ni mimi Mungu ameniwekea kwa miaka karibu kumi akiwa nje mimi nikiwa ndani ya shule na Mungu tu wakati naenda tu ku exit ananikamata ananirushia pale ananiwekea I bring it faster yes is kumulienda na mugivi hakuna kitu yote uliambia Yes, yeah. siku ya mwanzo tu kwa siku ana ni vile na kwanza unataka usikie vizuri. <laughs> Kuna goja unasikiza usikiza zaidi ili wakati unaenda ku ku propose ama ku kumasama kuusha nini? Mistari. Mistari sasa. <laughs> Uko at least uko certain ya kwamba this is the the right person, the right decision. And uh, for sure because of taking that time it is it's good also to take your time to the young people there uh, not always when you see somebody you, you also it's, it's good that because you have hand lakini ni vizuri pia unachukua muda wako kitabu uweke kwa sababu siku hizi vijana wanauliza huyu anauliza huyu anauliza huyu anauliza unakuta uko na watu kama 10 wamepanga line kwa hiyo akienda kumaliza hata kujua ni nani vizuri nataka atakuwa amechanganyikiwa kwa hivyo mm-hmm. that is kitu ya kwanza una at least una observe mm-hmm. unaenda tu mahali mnaenda ya naenda atakuwa na rafiki alikuwa na anarudi na, na, na kulu the same day nikumbaia tu kwa yogurt aenda ukikunywa mm-hmm. na unaenda kazi mahali uko unaenda mm-hmm. na and with the time mm-hmm. with the time haikuwa haikuwa kasi gumu kama vile kama vile amesema haikuwa kasi gumu sana kwa sababu already you may tumeenda hatu wa kadhaa tumeenda hatu wa kadhaa mm-hmm. And uh, kama vile tunafikiri vile tuna tuna share ni ya kwamba even now I got the wife that I ile wife material bali nilikuwa nahitaji mm. eh, na tumeshukuru Mungu subisfa mm. amekuwa mwema kwetu mm. Mm. how can you see hii hii ndo kitu ilifanya nijue this is the right person for me uh, nimesema kitu ya kwanza ni kusikia Ah, uh, ndio kumesikia sauti. Kusikia Kasikia sauti ni jeni. Na the confirmation ni hiyo divine. Hata mnakutana tu. <laughs> Hakuna mipango mingi kwanza unafanya. Unajua <laughs> kuna wengine unatafutia sana unaenda unatafuta fair. <laughs> Wende kutafuta mahali yako. <laughs> Hii unakuta vile tu unaenda. Tumi tulikutana mara kadhaa. <laughs> Coincidentally unakuta kuna vile mnakutana. Kuna vile wewe umetoka bali umekuja na yeye ametoka amekuja kutembea unakuta inaigiana ka mm. so how could strago kwa hivyo haiku haiku strago haiku na haiku siku strago mm-hmm. so ile ile siku sasa ulijua ni yeye ndio hiyo sasa ni kupeleka out mm-hmm. na ku na kuweka sasa mistari mm. eh. <laughs> <laughs> na watu wazabu nilikuwa convinced ya kwamba this is now the right Right person. Right person. Mm. Right person. Mm. Right person. Right. After sasa umeenda, umemuuliza, Ulienda sasa ulifikisha hii ujumbe kwa watu wengine aje. Sasa kutoka pale nikufikisha ujumbe <laughs> na utauliza hata mambo anauliza. Ah, ati. Zii no okay. Ndio sababu sababu wewe umetoka na hiyo decision, hakuna mtu anaweza lakini unasikia kwa ubali. Zii okay. Kwa sababu anajua obvious kwa sababu ni ndio kana hakiada ndio kana hakiada kaya kada hagira ngo na mai ni background sasa kulugana na vile hiyo background yeye ametoka wapi kwa hivyo itakuwa utasikia lakini mtu atakubali tu eh okay oh but reception haikuwa obvious haikuwa sababu ni your own decision na wewe ninyi wote ni mashua ama umefika kiwango ya ya kuwa na kuolewa yeah. itakubalika uh-huh. lakini mtausikia na huko nyuma labda mtu anasema hey si angetafuta hata mtu akao na pesa angetafuta <laughs> mtu akao na kazi unaona na wasaidiane mm-hmm. eh, vitu kama hizo sasa lakini <laughs> yeah. eh, wow. kwa yote ni vizuri usikie mimi naweza sinaweza bia kapo ni vizuri usikie Mungu mm. na ni vizuri pia Mungu 
Musaidiane. Kweli. Vizuri kusaidiane. Kwa hivyo tu Wewe ulipiga report nyumbani. <laughs> Mimi nilikuwa nishapiga report ya kwamba kuna kijana anataka kunipeleka shule ya kompyuta. Naulizwa kijana huyo si ni bibi anataka. Wacha hii ya, ya kupelekwa college. Yeah. After sasa ameshakuuliza. Sasa niliendelea sasa na baadhi nilikuwa nimefikisha kwa sababu kwangu mimi nililelewa kwa nyumba ambayo nililelewa na mama mza, mlezi si mama mzazi. Mama Bishop mzazi. yes. Mama mlezi si mama mzazi. Yeah, exactly. Pengine kuna mtu atashindwa hiyo unamaanisha <laughs> nini? Ni kumaanisha ya kwamba wazazi wangu waliaga nikiwa mdogo. Nikachukuliwa na familia baba aliaga nikiwa kama miaka tatu, mama akaaga nikiwa kama miaka saba hapo. Sasa nikachukuliwa na hii familia ya Bisho Meshek na Reverend Sara. Na naambiwa na wakati wetu umeisha so unataka tusimamie hapo. Okay. Sasa next Friday tutaanzia yeah. hapo. Thank you. Hii familia imekuchukua mm-hmm. mkono wao. Yeah. Then huyu kijana amesema anataka kukuoa. Yeah. Ume break news kwa hawa wazazi. Yeah. Kulienda aje. Wow. Tutaanzia hapo. Thank you. Asante sana kwa kukuja. Karibu. Tunashukuru sana. Asante. Thank you. Wow. Wow. What a story. Maybe there's that young man who is watching us and there's that lady who have been crushing on you since Sunday school. You never know. You never know. She started crushing at him when she was in Sunday school but today they are united. That is to say there is hope. So endelea kuota and those dreams can become a reality. Thank you so much for joining in. My name is Willy Kinyash. I'm a Dr. Love and this is Couples Week show. This is where we ride down our love with when we are alive or we don't want our love stories to be read when we are six feet under neither do we want our love stories to be read when we are gone if this is your first time kindly make sure that you subscribe to our youtube channel for now it is kwaheri ya kuonana see you on friday as you continue with this love story bye bye